Interview with the stars. And introducing Maura Edmonds. Hello. <laughs> wonderful musician and entertainer. And she is a person who has written and wrote her own stuff. She's a songwriter and she is a singer and she is a performer and she has performed in front of some really amazing audiences, some really big audiences, some very small audiences, audience of all sizes and all ages. So please give a big hand for Maura Edmonds. Is there anything else you would like to add? No, that was very sweet. That uh, kind of summed it up. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> On to the questionnaire. All right. Oh, actually, pardon me. And I forgot to introduce myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my name is Aiden Lefebvre, and I am the curator of Grace Gallery. And in behind here, you'll see the beautiful gallery with all kinds of original painting done by local artisans here in Brantford, Ontario, as well as I also carry national and international artists as well, all across the world and all across Canada. So come check it out. I'm Grace Gallery, located in Brantford, Ontario at 29 Nelson Street in Brantford. Now the questionnaire part. So, what is one fun thing that you can think of that you have done or remember over the COVID period time? I think the biggest thing is I slowed down. I used to be go, go, go. I was never home. I barely got to see my friends. I was always off doing something. And I actually slowed down and I started to remember the importance of life, right? The time with your friends and your family and stopping to smell the roses kind of thing. So that I think was the biggest thing I took or have taken from it. During this slowdown, did, did it allow you to write any new songs at all? Any new song lyrics, any new, uh, any new original songs at all that you, that you might have come out soon? You know, it's funny for the first, few months of it, especially during lockdown when I was off work, um, I could not write, I could not get a song out. I don't know if it's because I had so much time to think, I'm not sure. Um, but just recently towards uh, the end, the last few months or so, I've started to write a couple songs and, and they're different. They're not about relationships. So for me, that's big. <laughs> I write a lot of songs about relationships. So it's coming out now. <laughs> Okay, good. Did it, did this COVID period inspire any new songs? Like, was there any songs about masks or any songs <laughs> about covering up or any songs about, you know, wearing that hazmat suit? Right? Uh, not so far, but I do have one kind of coming out about um, just maybe the state of the world, the way, the way we are, um, and kind of just maybe opening our eyes up a little bit. Um, yeah, it's not quite finished, so I don't want to give too much away, but uh, that's where it's going. Not so much masks specifically, but... <laughs> okay. Or hazmat suits. Or hazmat suits, yeah. Hopefully we don't <laughs> have to get into those. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> Imagine if we have to convert to wearing those instead of uh, masks. Right? <laughs> well, I guess it uh, be a little easier getting dressed every day. I wouldn't have to worry about my outfits so much. I guess, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is one thing you did as a family during COVID that you remember that or that you consider as a good memory? Um, well, my immediate family, my mom and dad and my two brothers, they actually live in Nova, Nova Scotia. Um, and Nova Scotia is kind of in its own bubble, the Atlantic provinces, which I completely understand. Um, but I haven't been able to see them uh, almost a year now. So that's been hard, um, but I do have a wonderful boyfriend and his wonderful family who I got to spend more time with. And um, as a family, we went on a big uh, camping trip this year. So that was something that I don't think we would have done um, 
because we're always off doing our own thing, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that was great. Yeah, it was. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> How has COVID affected your life as a model? And sorry, you're not even a model, but as, an, <laughs> as a musician entertainer. It's definitely affected it. Um, there's no real live shows. Um, a lot of it's gone online, which has been fun, but uh, it's very different, right? And yeah. Yeah, there's just no, there's no shows really. Yeah, it really has affected a lot of people in that way. Yeah, yeah. Do you see us returning to the old normal ever again? I hope so. Um, I think it'll be a long time before we get to that point. Um, I hope that we do. I just don't know if we will exactly. It's, uh, it's definitely affected things, but I hope we do. Does wearing a face mask covering, face covering, pardon me, make you feel comfortable? Why or why not? Um, you know, that's a, it's a really good question. I know there's a lot of um, debate on the masks. I know there's a lot of different opinions on the masks and everything. Um, myself personally, I, I work for a chiropractor full time. So I, we can see about 80 people in a day. Um, we do have a, a high, um, older population that comes into our office as well. So for me, I do feel more comfortable um, wearing the mask, um, but I think for me, it's more that I know, because I'm, I'm not in the vulnerable group, I guess, I feel more comfortable that I might be helping somebody else or maybe protecting somebody else that would be more vulnerable or likely to uh, be more affected by it. And eight, as a musician entertainer, how many hours do you normally practice? That, that's a good question too. It's, it varies. Um, some days I might only pick up my guitar for half an hour, but then there's days I'll play four or five hours until my fingers are almost bleeding. Um, I do play daily. It's something I do pick up daily. Um, on average, I would say about an hour a day. <laughs> do you ever play till your fingers actually bleed? Uh, they have never bled, but they've gotten to the point where I couldn't play guitar for a couple days because just touching the tips was tingly. Um, I tend to, to stop when it hurts too much. <laughs> That's a good sign. That's yes. a good thing. <laughs> As a musician entertainer, how much time is taken for preparations, travel, and music voice lessons, if any? Um, well, I take voice lessons every week. Um, I have a wonderful vocal teacher who's um, not just my teacher. She's also a great friend and my inspiration. So um, we, we meet every week for about a half an hour. Um, so there's at least a half an hour a week for that. And then depending on what's coming up, if I have a show coming up, I will definitely put um, more time into getting ready, you know, picking up the outfits and practicing. Um, It'll vary, but at least on a normal week to week, it's about a half an hour. Oh my okay. goodness. If you could name one contest, concert, pageant, or event that you were a part of recently, which would it be and why? Um, there's two that kind of come to mind. The last online event I did was actually my own. Um, I did my own online uh, original showcase on Facebook. Uh, that was really, really fun because I got to play all my own songs and I had a great turnout that came out. Um, but the Sanderson Center from last December keeps popping up because um, that was the biggest concert I've ever been a part of. Um, and that was last December we did the uh, for the homeless here in, in Bradford. Um, I know you were a part of that as well, Aiden. Yes, I was, yes. It was an excellent event and um, great musicians, great turnout, great cause. But for me personally, it was the biggest stage I'd ever walked on. So it, it was a huge growth, growth for me. Mm -hmm. And if you have been in an interview or online event, which one was it and what was your experience? Uh, the last online event um, wasn't an interview, but I played for uh, McGonagall's Pub, was um, having local musicians um, at the beginning of COVID. 
Um, so I got to do one of those, um, one of those uh, evenings. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was my first online uh, show, so it was very different and uh, unique, just playing to an NC bar and a camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it was a lot of fun. It, it was definitely a lot of fun. Well, at least it wasn't like the NHL and like those sports things that you see nowadays with uh, with those fake cardboard cutout people <laughs> right? that somehow do little fake moves and yep. they have them move from side to side to try to look like they're they're jiving with the players. It's so silly looking. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It is. I can only imagine being the players too and like looking up to see that. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like home alone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's actually quite frightening. Like we have holograms now, don't they know that? Like they look almost real. Exactly. Like the holograms almost look almost real. Like they have Michael Jackson doing his Michael Jackson moves. Like yeah, you don't need like, the why don't they need holograms? At least they look more real than that. Right. <laughs> I know. Anyway. Moving on. Are you comfortable with online events or in-person events? Which one um, do you like better and why? Definitely comfortable with both. I think more online. There's something about a camera going on my face where it, I swear you get a little more nervous. <laughs> um, but I do prefer in-person just because especially with music, um, there's nothing better than connecting with someone in the audience. And I miss that. I miss making eye contact with someone and you know you're both feeling what you're feeling. Uh, something you can't get online. You just can't get that. Um, so I definitely prefer in person. That's true. You definitely can't get the eye contact. Yeah. yeah. What has been your highest achievement to date as a musician entertainer i think the highest achievement um is just breaking out um for myself i used to be a very very shy inward person um i always played music but i never thought i would actually do it publicly um so pushing myself to get out there and do it because i love it and i do enjoy it um has been my biggest achievement um other than that, the Sanderson Center was definitely, definitely a big thing. And then just getting some original songs uh, recorded and up on uh, YouTube and Spotify and, and things like that has definitely been some great achievements for me and great feedback from it. What ha sorry, pardon me. What is the best way for someone to contact you if they want to book you for an event? Uh, Facebook, definitely Facebook, um, more Edmonds music, uh, messaging. I think my phone number is on there as well, um, but that would definitely be the best way to reach me. Okay. And as a final question, Mask It, Talent and Fashion Show 2020 is coming up in October. Would you like to share a few words about this? Yeah, I think this is such a great event. I'm so excited for it. Um, of course, I was disappointed we had to move it from the original date, but yeah, things happen. Um, it's just unique. It's something I haven't heard of in Brantford. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I love fashion shows, so I can't wait to check all that out. And, and I think people need a little bit of entertainment and fun as well. So I think it'll be a fun event. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. And thank you for giving your time to us for today. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye.